Hello, hello. How is YouTube today? How is everyone doing? Uh, I have not done a video about adult coloring in quite some time. Um, I started, this is kind of like the second one of a series I did. I did one a while ago. Um, and I thought I'd be like further along in my journey than, <laughs> than I, but just by now but the thing is is that i i'm juggling three jobs and i'm also doing some uh, they're starting to do a lot more promoting about my 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 original artwork um i created a, another facebook page um uh, for my business for my art and i'm actually one of my goals for 2023 is to start doing art lessons and uh party paint parties but not the typical paint parties paint parties for people who really want to take their art to a new level okay so you can be at a beginner level if you do that as well as those who uh want to do more but it's a little different than the normal paint party approach so i'm going to be working on that i'm going to start doing lives on my facebook page on my creative page and and doing a little bit of promoting there and part of kind of like getting myself more into it because I'm, I'm it's hard for me to do original content with that like sometimes i can get inspired and create a project or if i'm in a class i can do it definitely and someone else has set up a still life or someone else has set up something but for me, it's like, I really have to work at it. Now I started doing more with my photography and doing all kinds of fun filters and creative and collages and all kinds of things. So I have all that on that page. Um, but, and that has actually taken me to create some new photos and some uh, new content where I'm going to start like kind of like doing some paintings from those photographs, like inspired by that photograph. So there's all some cool things. But one thing I've been started to do uh, is adult coloring books. Now, uh, this was one of my favorite ones. I I finished quite a few of the ones I talked about in my last adult coloring book uh, video. Um, but this one is one of my favorite ones because it incorporates art and fashion, right? And this is by Usborne, the Usborne Book Company. Usborne, and I guess it's WW Usborne Books and More. I got these uh, from a rep who is, they're like, like, you know, how I saw Avon, I actually had someone sign up and join my team who also was a, an Usborne rep. And these are really cool because they have vintage fashions. This shows fashions over the years. You have quite a, uh, a, a set of, of different vintage styles, 20s, even the outfits that I wore in the 80s. I mean, I'm so old that I'm in the vintage fashion book, okay? <laughs> the outfits I wore, hair and pants with neon print and little black lace-up boots and the high pony and the whole bit. Okay, and the high crew t-shirt. That's, that's ex this exact exactly how I dressed for work back in the 80s. So anyway, uh, the cool thing about this is I had bought some, uh, I had been doing crayons uh, and, and what, uh, and I don't even know the brand of these crayons or maybe they're on the crayons, but look at how beautiful you can fill in. And I was doing this, even look at this. This is, this is a 60s, 70s dress, one shoulder gown, but JLo wore this gown, a, a, a replica of this gown, uh, in the last couple of years to a, a red carpet event. But you know, you can recreate like this whole dress could have been a solid color and I just did just detail um, and it's fun like doing it darker here or doing it all the same color or doing the checks here doing some really cool things look at the jewelry okay I had a lot of fun doing this this is a really gorgeous uh, coloring book for adult coloring but this was all crayon um, and I think I did some some of this was crayon and a pencil okay so I'm going to show you my uh, colored pencil and it's just really cute this poochie or this art deco and then some of these mod uh 60s mod and this and then they got into the poochie okay this was really really stunning okay just gorgeous the only thing was what i did not know was that the markers i had bought and i thought okay i'm gonna do markers because some of these are bolder and then i even kind of took liberties and kind of did a little bit more creativity with i went outside the line and kind of just did my own thing with these with this dress but okay so let's talk about medium okay 
what, what I really liked was these the quality of these Osborne adult, uh, coloring books is that the pages are not newsprint. They're not like little kids coloring books where the pages are newsprint and you can get a lot of bleeding. At least up until a point, little did I know when uh, when I bought a set of markers, which I thought but p uh, many people told me these are the kind of markers that get blah, blah, blah. OK, well, and I did, you know, I did some of these with the blouse, these blouses with those markers. And I really imp was impressed and I really liked them. Um, and then what happened was I didn't do it for a while. I didn't do it for like two or three months. OK, I didn't. This was the first time I used them, okay? This these two pages right here, one day. But I and I didn't do anything. Didn't do anything at all. Next thing I know, here it is 3 months later, yesterday, I was kind of trying to leave, relieve some stress and all of a sudden I picked them up and of course I've since gone over them with other uh, other markers, but I, I they were so faded and so bad that that I was really disappointed because they were already dried out from only using them one time. Now, granted, they were from Walmart, but still, I would have thought that markers that I used that I only did two pages in and kept the cap. It wasn't like I left the caps off or anything. It wasn't like I lost them. Uh, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. One day, one day, and then a month and a half later, two months later, three months later, I pick them up where I left off. The caps were still on. I'll, I'll show you everything. And then, so I decided to buy another set. And yesterday afternoon, while I was out and about, or uh, and, and so I was at, at Big Lots, and I bought a set, a different brand, and so I'll, I'll go over all this, okay, in a minute. But, but what I did was, and I thought, oh, good, these are bolder colors. Look at this, look at this. But what happened, okay? They're much more wet. Look at how that bled through. Oh, my God, that was heartbreaking. I even went over, what I didn't know was I went over this one where it was really, where the colors were really weak from using the ones that were totally dried out. And look what happened. Look at this. Okay. A lot of heavy bleeding. So I'm going to show the ones that were great that didn't bleed through these pages, but didn't last very long. Or, and then I did, I used the blues and I did some things with the ones that were, they were, uh, some of these colors, these, these are all nauticals. So, and I rarely use this blue. So I, I did, those markers still had not faded out yet. So I was able to do like, you know, these cute things with the sailboats and these, but look, here's the pink stripes of the shoes okay with the new ones look it even bled through onto this oh god i was so aggravated so incredibly aggravated um especially this because i thought this was really cool because it looked like an eye and you know kind of but then when i've turned the page how disappointed was i okay i was just like oh i didn't and i started doing a little bit with these shoes but I was like so afraid because I was like, I don't know what's going to bleed, what's not going to bleed. I'm so nervous. I don't want to do too much. So because these are such beautiful books, because it's almost like once you do it and it looks flawless, it looks like a storybook. It's These are such beautiful. I was like, I don't want to mess anything up. I, I don't want to mess anything up because it's like it's like illustrating. It's like illustrating a book when you when you do these coloring books. They're so gorgeous. Okay. So I didn't want to do too much with these, okay, anymore. So let me go over wh what I had when I started um, and what I evolved to and then what I thought was a good purchase. I'm still going to use the ones that bled through for other things, other, pro uh, other projects, other things that I know it's one time. I don't care what the back of it's going to look like. But for coloring books, it was like, ugh. Okay, so what I did was when I first started, uh, when I first start doing adult coloring, and I've got them, I've got them in some uh, different order here. I've got, oh uh, yeah, so I've got one set that's in here, and these were called the Twistables. Okay, these were Crayola Twistables, and I thought these looked cool because they were longer than your regular Crayola crayons, right? There's almost like an eye, <laughs> it's almost like an eyeshadow cream crayon okay and um okay and so okay so like here okay and 
recipes. Oh, you're, you're, I'm swatching them as if they're... Oh, you're swatching them as if, as if it's eyeshadow. Okay, so what I like about these is you can twist these up, okay? The, but the only thing I notice is the pigmentation of these particular ones. Um, let's see, do I have a piece of paper? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. I have a piece of paper here. All right, so they're very soft. They're very light. They're not, they're not, they're not the darkest. They're not the most pigmented, okay, uh, in the bunch. Okay, so here's the blue, okay? It gives a very crayon look. I can remember Crayola's, Crayola crayons in the 64 box back in the day. I don't know how it is now. But back in the day, if you had this color blue, it was much deeper. It was not like, to me, this is almost like it's too soft, okay? I have to really, really color over and over and over and over to get, see? See how much, how that is? Okay, now let's, let's, and then even the dark one. They almost feel that they're already dried out when I bought them, okay? And these were also from the same, from the, from, these were my first purchase. Like, here's this purple, okay? How, it's so weak. They're so weak, okay? So as much as I like the fact that they were longer and they were twistable, that you could, like, you know, last a long time, you twist them up, da-da-da-da-da, they don't have caps, okay? Um, they do not have caps unless there's something that I didn't know about. Nope, nope, nope. They come like this. And so I felt like they were almost like too dried out. Okay. And it was such a disappointment, such a disappointment. The red, look, okay. The red, it's just random piece of school paper. <laughs> okay. This is the red. Okay. It's almost like. These are like a sheer wash, okay? These are like a sheer wash of coloring. It's fine for certain things, but I really, to me, this almost like stresses me out more if I'm like really, really having to, you know, if I want to color and I'm going to color in, let's say, a whole dress, and I want that dress to be red, and I, re I really want that dress to be red, and I'm going over it and going over it. Look at, look at, look at. I mean, okay, so is it the best medium, in the, the, are these the best in the world? You know, we know that when you buy a Crayola crayon in, in that 64 set, at least from back in the day, you would get, you wanted red, you got a lot more red. Okay, so, okay. so that was my first foyer, <laughs> dipping a toe into adult coloring, okay? <laughs> so then I bought some... Uh, colored pencils. Okay. Colored pencils. They're okay. Um, let's just see. Let's see what we get with, of course you have to sharpen them. You know, you have to sharpen them, but even these, even these, now what are these? These are called, uh, craft cr crazy art. Okay. Crazy art. That's what they say. All right. Here's the red or it's more like a fuchsia. What is this called? Pink orchid. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I was used to like real art, like Conte pastels. All right, this one is called Apple Red. Apple Red. Okay. Now it's again a sheer wash of color. I do not remember. Maybe they were, and I just I'm remembering them as having more color. But as once again, I'm a makeup girl, okay? But not only that, but I spent years in art classes. I spent years. If I had been drawing with stuff this week, I would be really frustrated, okay? Because you, you, in your mind, if you see bold color, all right, here's what's this, blue. Okay, this is just going real, real, real uh, creative here with the names, okay? This is their blue, okay? Now, I had to go over that a lot if I were just going from the side. Yes, they have more pigment than, they have more pigment than, than those, than these twistables. Okay, they have a lot more pigment than, but once again, that's not saying very much, right? Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, but you know, is it, it could be better, could be better. Okay, so then, like, I, 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 I went on Facebook and I just randomly out of the blue asked some of my 
followers and friends. Do I have anyone that's into adult coloring in my on my page here? And if so, what do you like to use? And many people, no, granted, okay, I still got the one of the most affordable sets, this color brush marker set, okay? I was really attracted to the colors, really stunning array. How many are there? 12 super bright colors. I, these are my colors, okay? These are power colors. I like that they had, they also have a black in there. Um, I love this turquoise. I love this, this, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a bright color girl, right? Okay, so a couple of these are still pretty good. Okay, a couple of these are still pretty good. This uh, this blue, this kind of like a navy blue here, but already you can see it's a little. Let's see. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. But even so, if I just kind of not press so hard, that's what I'm getting. Okay, now granted, yes. But still, it should not be this week after this is now, okay, the first time was three, two, three months ago. Second time yesterday. This is the second time I'm, uh, third time I'm now using this blue, okay? So it's, that one's not bad, okay? That one's not bad. I had all the caps on here. I, I even, I'm so, you know, uh, OCD about my, you know, things being in order, all this, but... When you get to, what's the paint, this one? Okay, this is one of my favorites, this hot pink fuchsia. I hadn't even used this very much, okay? When I get to here, when I get, okay, keep in mind, I hadn't even used this very much. Look at this, look at how weak this is. Look at how weak that is, okay? And these, now, should I have the box upside down? Okay, what's just what we tell people with eyeliner, liquid eyeliner or eyeliner pen, should I have them all be sitting down down this way instead of up like this? Because that's how they are in the box. It's like this. They should have enough ink in them that by the time you use them, you shouldn't have to be going like this to have them have ink. But I may actually do that because these, these color brush markers did not bleed onto the other page. But this is my frustration. So I was like, oh my God, oh my God, look at this, look at this, my pink. And that's why when I was doing one of those bright colored uh, swirly dresses with the poochie type of prints, this is what I was getting, okay? And I was just like, oh God, no, oh God, no. So I happened to be going uh, to Big Lots uh, yesterday afternoon. And I, while I was there and I just, just stumbled, just stumbled upon, because they had a, you know, I was looking at some other things, and of course, sometimes they have random things. And so I saw this big set. Okay, I was like, "Wow, these have nice colors." Seven dollars. Uh, it's called the Bic Intensity Unique Snap Cat. Okay, so I was like, "Okay, good, a Snap Cat." Since these, so many of these had faded, and I'm, I'm talking about the these this the, my favorite, the turquoise. This really bright blue. That dark blue was one of the few ones that had the black was nothing. Black was hardly anything, and I hadn't even hardly used it that except for three months, one one time. I mean, I bought sharpies that were better. I bought I can't even tell flares. So I was really you know disappointed in that. So I thought, okay, good. This has a special cap, uh, a special unique snap cat. No problems. Da 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I can't wait. I can't wait to sit back down and draw. So last night. And some other things happened last night, but that was that's a whole other story. That's a whole other video, what ended up happening. Uh, but I did, just for a half hour, uh, sat down and, and you know, did some, did some coloring. And that's when I filled in that, and that's when I did, realized. I was like, oh, no, look at how it bled. Okay, so let's take this orange, okay? So, yes, these have really nice, they feel really nice when you're drawing with them. They do have a nice cap. Look at this. They even have this reinforced uh, nubby, and I love that because it's like you can lean on it and everything. It's all, you know, like it feels like it supports your hand. Okay. Um, so let's take this, and we're talking, you know, fine point here. Let's, let's here. See, it looks like a very fine point, so you can go fine point that way. Okay. Really nice pigmentation. Um, and then sideways, of course, you can make it look thicker like this. But, okay, okay. 
So it's not really the best thing if you're doing adult coloring because look at what happened on the in that book. Okay, you bled to the other side, and for a, for a, you know, a, and, and even with that, those with those thicker pages, you're get, getting some bleeding now. Did the lower one when I went when I went fade fade, but sometimes you want to really fill it in with the color and be solid. So look at that, okay? Look at that. So when I like to go solid, let's say if I'm doing a design and I'm doing like this, and then I can hardly even tell. Look at how much look at how much ink that gets wasted. And so let's say if I was gonna do that. Now, if I was going to do like uh, some poster or some original thing, let's do the blue here. Let's say I was going to make this into some lips, right? Just, just out of curiosity, okay? Just for fun. I take this blue and make this. Like that. Just kind of like a little. Mess the outline here. So if you, now I know you can't comment down below because they took away my, Facebook took my comments away. Um, Facebook took my comments. You see, look at that. Okay, how cute. Okay, but look, <laughs> you really can't tell which side is which because of so much bleeding. Okay, so uh, this is a fine for if I was doing something like on a certain type of poster board or if I was doing something that was an original design that did not have anything on the back. These are actually pretty, really excellent pigmentation. But for adult coloring, that's a whole other thing. Because, like, as I showed prior, when I filled in, this dress was really faded. And, and I wasn't happy with it. With You can even see how, and I kind of, you know, it was, I just had to draw a lot. But then, and the black looked gray. So that's when I took the black from this set. And I thought, oh, I'll just fill it in. Okay, I filled it in. And little did I know uh, that it, it, it bled on that side. And this was something that I did not want to happen with this book. So I was uh, I was slowly dis very disappointed. And the same thing with, and I was like, oh, wow, I'm really getting a great graphic look. I can do some really great creative things. Okay, so is are these the best are these the best markers for adult coloring books or even imagine if i'd had newsprint if i'd had newsprint and that's very disappointing to kids you know like for me when i had the newsprint kind of coloring books and sometimes you have different markers and you have different things and then you get that bleeding on the other side you can't use that page that page will never look the same it won't it'll mess up the design of, of the other side right um or if you do it always looks a little messy and then the the side that you already previously colored uh and you fill in the other side then that one that you previously colored before will have the smears and the and the and the bleed through onto the other side that from you know so but anyway these i'm going to play around with with just some original work okay i'm going to work on these with some like sketch pads some of my sketch pad stuff where i only am doing just the front and I can definitely play around with these, okay? I can definitely play around and do some original things, but are they the best things for color for coloring books? No, okay? But are these the best? I wouldn't I love the colors. But when you use something and you know, like all the caps, you can look at them. All the caps are snapped on tight. I used them one time and didn't do anything for three months. Like these could have been on the shelf. These could have been on a shelf for one time, and then I go to use them again, and and they were a lot of them were dried out, and I'm like, oh, you know, that was very disappointed. Okay, very disappointing. That that's gonna get on my nerves if I don't fix that. Okay, there we go. Okay, I always have to put things in color order. Um, so I I was not I'm not too impressed. These were great in terms of with that type of paper, with that coloring book, with that type of paper. These were great. Um, and I think if I had kept, I remember that day I could have kept going, but I couldn't keep going. I had other things to do, but if you want to be able to like, know that three months later, you can drop everything, you know, set them aside, put them away properly, which I did. And they'll still have plenty of ink. Now I'm going to try, I'm going to shut this box. And just like what we tell people in Avon with the, uh, lip, 
uh, lip stains that are in a marker or even like the eyeliner that's in the eyeliner pen that's like a marker, um, we tell people to set them upside down so that all of the ink uh, can, or we call it ink, but it, you know, the ink just like in a marker, but whatever the, 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 the product that puts the color on your lips or your eyes, the eyeliner, you, it makes it all the product go to, down towards the tip so that when you go to put it on, you, you've got, you still got plenty because there's got to be plenty in here in each one. So, but well, at least that's what I'm going to try. I have a feeling maybe that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store them this way. Okay. I'm going to store them this way. Maybe put this little flap back and go like that and see if the ink runs down and everything runs lower so that this is where the tips are so that when I take the cap off I have more I have more uh color pigmentation I'm gonna try that uh, I'm gonna save these for other stuff I'm gonna put these I have an art box um that has like stuff that when I'm actually like sitting like doing painting or illustrating or that kind of thing um I'm gonna save these for that and keep these for the adult coloring and I guess for the time being I'm gonna have to just do um, use whatever of these that are totally dried out and do color pencils. Um, I'm going to just toss these. I'm not, I'm not a fan, not a fan of these at all. Um, I really had to do a lot of coloring with these to get, um, to get, and, and it's a shame. It's a shame because I know, I know when you buy, when anyone buys Crayola, I mean, I don't know. I had bought some Crayola crayons and um, I think they were Crayola. It might have been a generic one. Hardly any pigmentation. So these were even better compared to those cheapy ones. And, and I'm thinking, I remember back in the day, if I bought cheap crayons or if I bought Crayola crayons, they still had good pigmentation. I feel bad for little kids right now. Like, like come on, you know. Um, so you can, you, you want to like be able to draw, you know, even if you go to a restaurant where the wait, waiter or waitress like draws, hi, my name is Tammy and blah, 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 you know, and they write that <laughs> it's usually a pretty good crayon, right? I've never seen, never seen crayons that are so dried out before. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. Don't please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you uh, reach out, I always put my other social media and all my links down below. You can always reach out to me and all of those other things until I get a, help me get a thousand. Okay. Help me share it with your, show me, share me with your friends. I talk about all kinds of stuff in here now. I'm starting to branch out and, and do not just Avon, not just, uh, not just art, not just, you know, a little bit of everything. Some real talk here, some hair stuff. A uh, little, just do a lot, as much as I can to, you know, keep it fun, keep it interesting, keep it original and, uh, you know, just, just t show some of my interests and, and show just some of the things that I'm thinking about and things that I'm working on. And so anyway, if you, if you've had, if you're a person that's inter interested in this, uh, adult coloring and you have products that you like to use, even, you know, uh, types of coloring books, uh, similar to this or or brands that you like let me know uh markers that you like to use all that good stuff you know please uh reach out to me and and i would really love to hear i can't you can't do get comments until i get a thousand so help me build up help me build up to a thousand and uh, and i can get comments again i can upload more videos i can do a lot more uh, a lot more stuff once I get higher, 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 um, and, and then get suggested and then build and, and do more, but you know, um, uh, so let me know if you uh, want to see more videos like this too and uh, your experiences with uh, doing coloring and uh, I know for me it does help me relax when I'm doing it I don't think about anything else I can I, you know uh, I, it also gives me time to create like I had a lot of fun even just recreating some of these 60s mod looks here and this kind of a print here 
and um and some of these even these blouses with these like these uh flowers and and look i did almost that whole thing dark blue and there's still plenty of dark blue in there but how how the black was hardly anything it was beyond me and like this purple it was really fun like you know trying to make sure that there's no overlaps and how would the fabric lay you know um and and same thing with here like uh, and I, as I kind of went outside the lines and just kind of did my own kind of messier, a little messier version of this dress. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of, it was, it was definitely fun. And, and I never was a fan of this nautical look. So even like coloring this kind of made me think, well, you know, the print of this is kind of, uh, the polka dots and the, and the nautical and, um, and, uh, doing these stripes here and that kind of thing so i just wish that this hadn't happened um but even like doing this plaid i'm not really a fan of plaid that much but but being able to think of okay how would the lines go how would it how would it look how how would how would you know to to create some movement here as opposed to straight across vertical okay uh same thing with like this with the tie here and uh the bow um and just kind of even mi mixing it up would this all be red would this all be blue no i wanted to carry up the red and the blue and have it be a little different um these i would if i'd had more i would probably would have made these pants blue but i was like oh, i'm running out of ink but you know that's a cute look too so you know it's uh it's definitely fun and so uh, it's just challenging and it's challenging myself and kind of thinking about things the same thing with these shoes uh, I, I wore some of these shoes, but it's kind of fun to kind of like say it wouldn't be fun if this if this was like a spectator with the heel was this color and this was white as opposed to the whole thing being one color and then maybe these were other colors. And the same thing with like the polka dots here and um, the sole being this color and this being that color. And I did these little florals here. This is actually one of my favorites. I, would I wear this in real life? Probably not. But it was really fun to just create like a totally to do the flowers and to do the green and, and the uh, the stacked heel because as we know, the stacked heel is a diff different color. So yeah, I've just been having fun with that. And it's very relaxing. And when you're doing it, you just don't think about anything else, you know. Um, and we all need those outlets, right? So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful, happy, safe New Year's. And uh, I'm, I'm going to make some a lot of things happen for myself in 2023 um you know i'm not you know they have that new year new me whatever but and i may make a video where i'm just talking about that type of stuff and uh talking about what i'm thinking about for the new year and what my goals are so anyway thanks so much for supporting me thank you for sharing me with your friends um and uh don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh i'll see you next time thanks so much take care bye